What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a quick demo of a new Mac app called Reflections. Now this app enables AirPlay mirroring for your iPhone 4S and iPad 2 to your Mac. Now we're all familiar with this feature on the Apple TV, but Apple does not support that capability on the Mac at this time. So as you can imagine, this is not available in the Mac App Store, so I'll provide a link in the description below for a download. Now it's free for the first 10 minutes of use, but it will cost you $15 per license if you want to continue using it. Now once installed on your Mac, all you have to do is launch the app and leave it running. No app is needed for your iPad or iPhone, instead it uses the built-in AirPlay functionality in iOS 5. Now assuming all your devices are on the same local network, you can double tap the home button and swipe right to get to the AirPlay mirroring widget. Now you'll see all AirPlay devices available on your network. Now the one I want here is my iMac. So when I select that, I now have the option to turn on mirroring, which again is just like the Apple TV experience. Once on, you can now see your device's screen right on your Mac in real time, complete with audio and automatic screen orientation for portrait or landscape viewing. Now I can swipe through my home screen and launch apps, even watch video and play games. Response time is generally good with some lagging evident, but is otherwise very similar to the performance of airplane mirroring on the Apple TV. Gameplay works surprisingly well and is very responsive with excellent clarity, especially with games like Infinity Blade 2. But of course your experience will vary depending on your local connection. Video playback also works just like the Apple TV. So in full screen mode, video playback will be pushed to your Mac while your iPad or iPhone become the remote controller. Now the great thing here is that you can run more than one device at a time. So I can run both my iPhone 4S and my iPad 2 side by side with the app. Now you can also enter full screen mode to get a bigger view of your device's screen. Now this app also works with AirPlay Audio, so if you don't want to mirror to your Mac, you can just stream your audio instead. This will also work with any iOS device that supports AirPlay Audio, since only the iPhone 4S and iPad 2, and presumably iPad 3, support mirroring. Now you can't control your device from the app, this is just a viewer. So this is great for YouTubers like myself who may want to use screen capture software on my Mac to record the device's screen instead of filming the device with a camera. The drawback here, however, is that the app doesn't currently allow uh, annotations to indicate where you're tapping on the device. So you still need to see what you're doing. So it may not be as useful as I think it is. So keep that in mind before you invest in it. But give it a try to make sure it works for you. So that's going to do for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.